Hey everybody, I'm uh, here in my studio today. I thought I might um, try to clear up a few things. A few folks have been asking me about uh, hybrid picking, which is um, a matter of taking a guitar pick, which is what I do. I've more or less trained myself to do this over the years, playing with it. But I, I learned to play with a flat pick as a kid early on. But I've adapted a style which I refer, refer to as hybrid picking, where you, you use a pick and the fingers together. <laughs> I do a lot of that because basically I started out as a kid playing with a flat pick, playing just, just straight mel melodies. And one time I met with Doc Watson back in the 70s, and he said, no matter what you do, and, and of course I was teaching then and taught for 47 years up until a few years ago, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, that you would always use a down and up stroke as much, from the very beginning. So that's kind of what I'm doing here with a flat pick just running through a major scale and then run through an arpeggio like that like, and then you do it in each key and then you can run it back down When I'm playing a lead, of course, you know, I'm doing... That's with the flat pick. So, and then of course you do a chord accompaniment, like with the flat pick. So there's that technique, and that's all flat pick. Now later on, I wanted to learn how to, I wanted to learn the finger pick, so I started following, learning some methods, a simple arpeggio, taking like your thumb, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger, all right, so you, you run with that, and there was a few basic arpeggios, like if you're just starting off with the chords, and some of my lessons that I did on, on my uh, websites that are still up there, uh, free guitar what is it? I forgot my own website. <laughs> if, you go, if you go to hurricanewilson.com, it'll show you the guitar instruction website. Beginnerguitarlessonsfree.com. That's it. Anyway. And bluesguitarlessonsfree.com. I show some of these techniques. But, sorry, I digress. Anyway, I wanted to learn how to finger pick. And there's a, some basic, uh, sim simple things you can do. Like, for instance, like with a C chord. The only thing that changes is your bass note if you're doing a simple three-quarter time arpeggio. Like that. And it's the thumb on the on the bass string, index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, ring finger on the first string. Alright. So, and then if you go to a G seventh chord, you're gonna change the bass note. But everything else is still the same. And this is basically the basic finger style thing. guitar, which is a uh, very, very disciplined and uh, structured, you're still using the same fingers. You're using the thumb and then they, the I finger, the M finger, and they refer to the ring finger as the A, uh, the A finger, angler finger. So, but you're doing things like... like the legendary Toy Caldwell from the Marshall Tucker Band, everything he did was with his thumb. Everything he did was, was with his thumb. And a lot of guys use a thumb pick and finger picks, and they stick with that basic technique that I'm showing you here. So, what I did was I took my, my flat pick, and, it's, and I... Instead of using the thumb and index and middle and ring finger, I took my pick and I sort of and, and started using 
the pick is the thumb part. Now I had, the, I'm going to lose a finger as far as that goes, but I'm still able to play. Because in the back in the day when I was playing with a flat pick and I wanted the finger pick, you know, I put the pick down and then play with my fingers. tired of doing that so basically here this is it hybrid picking now the other thing I was going to show you too is um there's a thing called the alternating thumb and this is like referred to as Travis picking named after Merle Travis a legendary finger picker who basically Chet Atkins learned from so what happens is you're playing a bass note you're playing a bass part this is a very elementary part here Almost like a piano part, like a pedal kind of thing. And then you're going to play the uh, accompaniment. And everything stays the same. My bass note is in the same. Now if I go to the G7th chord. And I'm doing the same thing with the thumb. And then back to C. count is like one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. A simple count, very consistent. And then back to here. G7 chord. All right, so what I did was I took my pick and I adapted the, the pick to the thumb and my other two fingers. pentatonic thing, which is where the blues is based from, so like, you got your pentatonic scale, and that's all, that's all single note, finger, I mean, uh, flat pick stuff. like piece and work on it and just try to get back to the structured, disciplined, classical fingering. And that's good rehearsal. That's good practice. It's always good. I think I'm told, I was told by teachers earlier and uh, by very accomplished players that, you know, the more you practice a classical technique, the better your other styles are going to get. So I, I've always believed that. 
but then it's also good to run some scales with a flat pick. And as Doc Watson told me, always do the down up stroke. And then go to any other key. And so on. So anyway, that's how I do it. Uh, hybrid picking, using the pick, and a couple of other fingers. Anyway, I appreciate you hitting the, uh, coming on the channel. If you would, please do subscribe, and uh, I'll be putting stuff up pe more periodically. But this is sort of a, so many people have asked me about hybrid picking. I thought I would just go ahead and tell you about it. So thanks for listening. Please do subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.